sounds like a big hopper. That doesn't look like a hopper. You must use your imagination, Sarah. Yep, yep, yep. It won't look like what it's supposed to look like unless you can imagine it. I still don't see a hopper. Okay, Ducky, your turn. <gasps> that one looks like sweet bubbles. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, Spike. It only looks like sweet bubbles, but it is not. No, no, no. <laughs> but maybe you can find some in the trees. Hey! Look at that one! Chomper! And he is eating the sweet bubbles! But I don't even like sweet bubbles. <laughs> no! Petrie? Spike? Spike, what you do? Oh no! No! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn Come sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. Say, me not believe it. <laughs> Spike, are you sick inside? <laughs> oh, you just ate red tree stars. He eats tickly red tree stars. And? Everyone know you no know eat tickly tree stars. Tickly tree stars, bad luck. Everyone know that. No one knows that. I've seen this before. It's rare and very sweet. But it doesn't bring bad luck. <gasps> Spike, no! Give me bad luck, tree stars! Oh! See? Me not fall if Spike not eat tree stars. That's not why you fell. Look, Petrie, if Spike doesn't eat any more tickly tree stars, will huh? you stop talking about bad luck? No, it's not okay. Me Uncle Toronto, no leaf eater who no leaf eater who eat it and get bad luck. <laughs> Uncle Toronto, that guy's full of crazy stories. Me no, and me not stop thinking about them. So try to think about something you're not thinking about. Like what? What about a different story? Ruby is a good storyteller. Yup, yup, yup. Sure. How about one that takes place in the mysterious beyond? Chomper and I were on our way to the Great Valley, and Red Claw was trying to stop us. What is that smell? I don't smell anything, but your sniffer does smell more smells than mine. Ew, it's awful. More awful than getting caught by Red Claw? Then follow me while I lead. Ah! <laughs> 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 
was so surprised because he wasn't expecting it. Wait a minute. You're telling me water just jumped out of the ground? <laughs> you have some imagination, Ruby. But I saw it too. Yeah, right. Well, maybe it's something you have to see yourself to know you saw it. Huh? You want us to go to the mysterious beyond just to see waters jump? No, Sarah. Though, it's really not that far into the mysterious beyond. Yeah, it's just beyond the sheltering grass. I would like to see the waters that jump into the sky. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> I'd like to see it too. I don't believe you guys are serious about this. You'll believe it when you see it. Adventuring, adventuring. To the jumping water place. You really think that water jumps? How about rocks or big tree stumps? And what if bad luck come with us? Don't make a fuss. I know the meadow's really there. There's jumping water everywhere. You'll never know unless you go. So if we go adventure. Okay, fine. Let's go see this water that supposedly jumps. <gasps> I cannot wait to see water that jumps. Yup, yup, yup. What's wrong, Ruby? Uh, nothing. Just, uh, this tree isn't as familiar as I remembered it. We lost. We lost! Oh, this is Spike's fault. He ate bad luck tree stars. <laughs> How can we be lost when we're going somewhere that doesn't even exist? Oh, wait. We just go this way. And we're on our way. See, Petrie? Nothing bad has happened. There's no reason to be scared of bad luck. It have been good trip so far. Maybe bad luck get lost instead of us. <laughs> Maybe we have good trip. <laughs> it's okay. It's probably just... want to go back, that's okay with us. Me too! Well, I'm not a scaredy egg. Petrie, big scaredy egg. Oh, too big a scaredy egg to go back alone, that for sure. Hey, oh, wait for me! Something bad happened? <sighs> no, everything's fine. Let's go. Littlefoot, you are not 
walking the way you usually do. Don't don't worry about it. <gasps> we wouldn't have to worry if we knew what not to worry about. I stepped on a ground prickly. <gasps> oh no no no! Shh. It it doesn't hurt that bad. But if Petrie finds out, mm, he'll think it's bad luck that brought you bad luck. <laughs> Me feel bad, Spike so hungry. Yeah, and whose fault is that? If you weren't so afraid of bad luck, maybe he could eat. Maybe you find delicious no bad luck tree star there. Spike, what are you doing? Why do you have a log on your head? Because Spike have bad luck. And because me think they're tree stars in log. Careful, Spike! Duck! <laughs> Never should eat bad luck plant. No, Petrie. You're saying that he has bad luck is the problem. Huh? This all Spike's fault! <laughs> Surprise, Skywater happens all the time! And the sky puppies we saw earlier usually mean Skywater later. But still... Uh, could we talk about this somewhere drier? Look! The water's jumping! If Ruby says there is water that jumped, then I know there is. And I want to see it. <laughs> well, we're not going anywhere with all this... Sky water? Hey! The bright circle is coming out from behind the sky, Puffies. Then we will go see the waters that jump. Yup, yup, yup. But nothing else better happen. The sky water caused the running mud. That's all. But what caused the sky water? <laughs> and sky fire. Sky fire bad luck. And you got a ground prickly in your foot. <gasps> ground prickly? Oh, that very bad luck. Thanks, Ducky. Well, we're not having all bad luck. The running mud slid us all the way to the end of the sheltering grass. Okay. Everybody ready? I think yes. that is. Yes. No. Well, let's get this over with. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, everything fine. Everything fine, everything fine, everything fine, everything fine, everything fine. Everything fine. <laughs> We're almost waiting.
where we're going. I think she's right. Because I can smell something. It's not so bad once you get past the stinky pools, remember? That sure smells bad. Yup, yup, yup. I still don't see jumping water. <gasps> wow. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just wait. You still have to see what you haven't seen yet. have made you stinky. Worse than usual. See? Bad luck. All oh, this day doomed from the start. Let's just get him cleaned up. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Does he still smell bad? We get the mud off. Whew. <coughs> oh. No, oh, he still smell. Bad luck. Well, we have to go home now anyway. Is I can still smell him. From now on, everybody listen to Petrie. Petrie right. Spike make bad luck when he eat tickly red tree stars. You know, Petrie, I... <laughs>
<laughs> They're gone. Why? I don't know. I think you do, Chomper. Sharp teeth like you can smell things much better than we do. So if we don't like the smell, Red Claw must hate it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank, thank you! Spike. Oh, Spike! It's good luck you fell in mud and smell so bad. Wait! First it was bad luck, now it's good luck? It wasn't good luck. It was good thinking. Right, Spike? <laughs> First time for everything. Good luck, bad luck, me no care. As long as we safe. Thank you, Spike. <laughs> Your smell is not so bad. No, no, no. Bright Circle Celebration. You know no? She no no! I don't know either. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Go back to your sleeping spots before Petrie tries to make you work all day. <laughs> Must work. Bright Circle need wonderful celebration so it stay all shiny more longer. Petrie, you can waste your time with the celebration, but I'm going back to my nice warm spot. Oh, Sarah Wright, me need help. Big celebration need big space all clean. Um, is there more to the celebration than clearing the clearing? Oh, yeah. We gather delicious cold time foods for everyone and have big feast. It is much work, but it is worth it. Yes, yes, yes. Also, everyone think about what they learned since last cold time. Like me, learn this. later, but we make place ready first. I think I'm going to like this Bright Circle celebration. <laughs> ready, push! 
Sarah, need help. Oh, all right. Just this one tree. My sleeping spot is getting colder and colder. This makes Bright Circle all happy. Uh, how so? Bright Circle C celebration. If good, then Bright Circle stay in sky longer and longer until warm times come. The Bright Circle is watching us? Yes, Bright Circle always watching. No, it isn't. So, if the Bright Circle doesn't like the celebration, does that mean the warm times won't come? That's what Petrie thinks, but it isn't true. It's just a story. Right, Littlefoot? Huh? Well, I don't know. I just think it's fun to celebrate something that you're thankful for. Fun for some of you, maybe. To me, it just seems like a lot of work for no reason. Are we done with this tree yet? <laughs> me no done. <laughs> Push tree to fast water for bright circle. <laughs> okay, let's Do come on. It. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Glad to see you kids are getting an early start. There's a lot of work to do today. Maybe for some of us. <sighs> Beautiful day for a celebration, isn't it? Oh, yes, sure mm -hmm. it is. Hmm. Something wrong, Sarah? Why would a grown-up like you care about the bright circle? Well, there's nothing wrong with being thankful, Sarah. Me so thankful. <laughs> yeah, and I'm thankful I'm done pushing that silly tree. Hmm, I have to learn what I've learned since last cold time. <gasps> I know what I've learned it. Yes, yes, yes. I guess whatever Ducky learned is underwater. She's going awfully deep. Maybe she's trying to get underwater green food for the celebration. There's green food underwater? Yeah, but you have to hold your breath a long time to get it. Bubbles! <gasps> Yay, Ducky! I practiced it very much since the last Bright Circle celebration. I did, I did. That was really impressive, Ducky. Well, I bet I've learned more than all of you. I learned, um... What you learned, Sarah? Tell us. Tell Bright Circle, too. Oh, forget it. Forget what, Sarah? Forget everything. I'm so sick of hearing about the Bright Circle. Why? Do you not like the Bright Circle? I like it fine. I just don't think we need a whole celebration to thank you for being there. <laughs> What's next? Am I supposed to start thanking the trees and rocks for being here too? <gasps> well, if you want to, yes, yes, yes. Well, I don't want to. The bright circle is just a ball in the sky that's going to come and go and make warm times just like always. It doesn't need a celebration. I think everyone can make up their own minds about the Bright Circle and the celebration. Then go ahead and waste your day if you want to. But I'm not helping and I'm not celebrating. Doesn't look like you think it's so good to me. <sighs> Where are Tria and Trisha? Oh, they're off on some bright circle celebration nonsense. Really? 
You think it's nonsense? Because that's what I think, too. Of course you do. You're a three-horn, like me. Life's exactly what you see. Nothing is a mystery. A rock's a rock, a tree's a tree. It's what I call reality. Reality. I can see the world is flat. The sky is round, can't argue that. While we stand still here on the ground. The bright circle goes round. Reality. My reality. Is no mystery. Is just what you see. It's right in front of me. There's no mystery. My reality. It's plain to see reality. I think Spike knows what he can do. Yep, yep, yep. That good, Spike. What you do? <laughs> What's he doing down there? Ah! Everyone will love those tree parts at the celebration. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, Spike! Me think Bright Circle very proud. All right, time for us all to get back to work. But, Littlefoot, have you not learned it anything? Haven't I learned anything? Of course I have. Watch this. <laughs> hey, you sound like Spike. And I'm almost as strong as him. Uh -huh. Ugh. Almost. Here, we'll have a feast of our own while everyone else is busy with that bright circle nonsense. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Sarah. Oh, are those for the celebration? Nope, they're just for us. What do you mean? You know I think this whole celebration stuff is ridiculous. Well, the rest of the Great Valley disagrees with you. Huh. Sarah doesn't. Right, Sarah? Right, Daddy. Well, Trisha and I have been having a great time. We've helped make the clearing look pretty. And Trisha found her first sweet tree part. Ah! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> are you listening to me? Hmm? What? Oh, 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 of course I was listening. You and all the others are busy thanking something that doesn't need any thanks. Well, if you change your mind, Trisha and I will be digging up sweet roots for the celebration. No thanks. I'm staying here with Dad. Hello. <laughs> Dad, do you think Tria and Trisha are silly? No, of course not. Hmm. Oh, you worry too much. There are some things that I just know. Now, eat. Oh, maybe I've learned to like the taste of bad tasting tree parts. Mm. <laughs> Ugh. No. I haven't learned that. No worry, Ruby. Bright circle, very patient. Uh, Dad? Oh, yes, Sarah. Remember when 
Tria took me and my friends to the mud pool? Yes. And at first, I didn't want to get in, but once I did, it was kind of fun. Hmm? Well, now my friends are getting ready for the celebration, and... Well, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we help just a little bit. Well, I suppose we could go over there just to see how everyone's been getting along without us. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. This place is looking much cleaner. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, it's just about ready for the big celebration. Hey, is that part of the celebration, too? Uh, me not think so. Sarah. Circle is angry. It just means that until we get help, we're just going to have to fight this fire by ourselves. Spike, dig like you did earlier today. Chomper, use your legs to kick the dirt into the fire. Okay! <laughs> Not out yet. Mr. Threehorn? You're here too? Of course I'm here. And I'm here to help too. Drop some tree stars over here. I can cover this whole area.
one to eat. We need more help. <gasps> we already have it! Look! Frozen sky water! <gasps> it's beautiful! And it is slowing down the fire! It is! It is! Frozen sky water save bright circle celebration! The fire's not out yet, Petrie! And it won't be if we just stand here gawking. Now let's go. Right, Dad. to celebrate. Hmm. Once in a while. You're right, Sarah. It isn't that bad, is it? I know you're not one for celebrations, Topsy, but I'm awfully glad you're here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, me happy everyone here. <laughs> me feel so happy, me want everyone to see. It like the bright circle, all shiny inside of me. <laughs> Today's the day, the bright circle celebration. We all worked hard to make things just
What? You don't think the belly draggers got Sarah? Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Poor Sarah. Huh? <gasps> Sarah! <laughs> what? Sarah! <laughs> You're alive! I am so happy you are okay. Belly draggers not get Sarah! Almost. I was trapped in a big circle of flat rocks, but I knocked them down. You knocked the belly draggers down? I knocked the rocks down and scared the belly draggers. Sarah scared belly draggers? You saved us. Yup, yup, yup. I didn't exactly. <laughs> Sarah chased them away, all by herself. Look, I... Okay, fine. Sarah? <gasps> Sarah scared the belly draggers all the way back to the mysterious beyond. Actually, I... Sarah, very brave. We must find the hole and seal it up for good. Uh, meanwhile, you children should get safely home. Uh, okay. Hmm, if it weren't for you, we might not have known about that opening. Thank you. Sarah, big hero! Huh? Oh, me tell everybody Sarah, big hero! No, wait! Oh, well, whatever. Everybody! Sarah Hero! Sarah save us from belly draggers! Amazing Sarah scare belly draggers away! Sarah Big Hero! <gasps> there she is! The Hero Girl! <gasps> what was that? Tree stars? But why are they falling? Sharp teeth all away. Her mighty courage saved the day. She is our hero now. Who would have thought a task so big could be done by one so small? But now we know she's strong and brave. She really has it all. Shining star, the amazing three horn girl. The amazing three horn girl. Well, I always knew you were amazing. Hey, long neck. You hear what my daughter did? Yes. I was with her this morning. She single-handedly fought off the belly draggers. Yes? <laughs> I thought you'd like to know. We blocked off the opening in the Great Wall, and there was no trace of the belly draggers. Of course not. When a three-horn chases somebody, you can bet they stay gone. Uh, right, Sarah? Uh, I hope so. I really didn't do anything special. Nonsense. You're a hero. You stood your ground while your friends just ran away. <laughs> Good thing she takes after her father, huh, Long Neck? <sighs> Who came to hear about the amazing Three Horn Girl? Come on, Sarah. We were just exploring out by the Great Wall. From the speaking rock, Sarah, and speak up, dear. Me and little
Chocolate and Chomp... <laughs> Get to your part. Sorry, Dad. Okay. So, there I was, just me and the belly draggers, and... She was cornered, mind you. Right. I was cornered by the belly draggers. I, I bumped into the rock. No, no. She's just being modest. But we want to hear the real story, don't we? Me want to. It's very good story. Tell us how brave you were, Sarah. And how you drove those smelly belly draggers back into the mysterious beyond. <laughs> you heard them, Sarah. They want to hear your story. <sighs> okay. So, I was surrounded by the meanest belly draggers I ever saw. Ooh. And they were snapping at me with their big, ugly teeth. They wanted to hurt my friends. <gasps> Scary! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes. But I couldn't let that happen. So I, um... So I led them into a canyon. where I hatched my plan. If it is okay with you, Spike, today I would like to ride on the amazing three-horned girl. Hmm. And if it is okay with you, Sarah. Fine. <laughs> <gasps> Good idea. You'd be safe if anything bad happened during game. Uh, what would happen during the game? <sighs> Nothing's going to happen during the game. Except for my team winning! You may have been the hero yesterday, Sarah, but today you're just a regular three-horn girl. So you better be ready to play. What? We just wanted to see the amazing three-horn girl. <sighs> You've seen her. Tell them the story of how you drived it away the belly draggers. Oh, yes. Tell us. Please. I just told that story yesterday. Oh, but I didn't hear it. Me neither. I want to hear it too. It good story, and Sarah's so brave. Well, I guess I was brave. And you saved the whole Great Valley from the belly draggers. It was pretty amazing, wasn't it? <sighs> Everyone knows belly draggers are scary. But I've always known how to handle them. So when they were chasing my friends, I knew I had to stop them. I guess everywhere she goes, everyone wants to hear her story. I don't think she minds. Talking about Sarah is one of Sarah's favorite things to talk about. Well, I guess it's okay. She did do a good thing. And that's when I sprung my trap. I shoved the big rocks at the belly draggers and scared them all off. Belly draggers on this side, belly draggers on that side. Oh! Hello, little foot. Ruby, you must be here to listen to Sarah's story. We've already heard it. Unlike my friends, I stayed calm. <gasps> I knew I but had we to didn't stop hear them. that part. Then Shh. I headbutted spotted belly dragger all the way down the path. But his two friends, three of them? There were only two belly draggers. Well, maybe you didn't see them because you were running away. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Where was I? Oh, yes. Belly draggers friends showed up and they were big, big as two tree sweet trees. 
I've never heard of a belly dragger that big. Shh. But they could tell they weren't chasing me out of my valley. So they stomped their giant feet. Then I leapt right at them and told them, you get out of my valley. What? And they ran back to the mysterious beyond, never to return. Yay! Anyone who wants to hear the amazing Three Horn Girls story again can come back just before the bright circle leaves the sky. Every time I hear her story, I learn new things about what happened. That's because every time she tells her story, she tells a new story. Oh, me no no belly dragger grow so big. Say, maybe that's why I can still smell belly draggers. They're so big. Huh? You can still smell them? Sure, ever since the day they chased us. No matter how big they were, you shouldn't smell them all the way from the mysterious beyond. Unless they never went back. No. Sarah chased Belly Draggers back to Mysterious Beyond. With all her stomping. If she really did do all that stomping, maybe she left footprints. We should go to the Circle of Rocks and see. Then we'll know what parts of Sarah's story are really real and what parts really aren't really real. There's the Circle of Rocks. This must be place where Sarah scare off Belly Dragger. <laughs> she didn't scare their smell away. So, that no mean Belly Dragger here. <laughs> oh, that mean Belly Dragger here. Over there. Oh, that explains why I can still smell them. Oh. But she scared them away. Did you see where they're going? Yes, and that path leads home. We have to warn everybody, fast! So, Sarah not hero? I wouldn't be surprised if they've already heard about me in the mysterious beyond. Maybe they are telling the same story about the amazing three-horn girl right now. But to them, it's a scary story. <laughs> Nobody messes with the amazing three-horn girl. <laughs> Maybe I'll take care of Red Claw next. Belly draggers! They're back! <gasps> Impossible. Didn't you hear the story? Yes, but we saw the real story with my own eyes and Petrie's and Littlefoot's and Chompers. And we smelled it with my nose. Why can't you kids just accept that Sarah's better than you? She scared them off for good, and that's that. <laughs> the belly draggers are too afraid of Sarah to come back. Right, Sarah? Sarah? Uh, are you sure they were belly draggers? Uh, maybe you made a mistake. You said you scared off giant belly draggers. Well, uh, maybe they weren't giant. But you scared them away, right? Uh, well, they did run away, but uh, I didn't see where they went. Oh. In fact, uh, I didn't do anything amazing. I knocked down some rocks by accident, and, and they ran off. Oh. Oh. I didn't even chase them. Mm -hmm. 
That means the belly draggers are still in the Great Valley. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Is it true she lied? She's not a hero. It's a shame to think that we called her amazing. When she's really nothing more than a fraud. She kept us fooled by telling her story. Never once told anyone it was made up. Until danger arrived once again. But what should we do now that we all know a three horn girl cannot save our valley anymore? Send her away. Don't let her stay. That's three horn girl. Everyone, please calm down. We should have known better than to leave the safety of the Great Valley to our children. That's our job. And now we should find those belly draggers and drive them out for good. <gasps> <laughs> You should probably stay here. I cannot believe I believed it in the amazing three-horn girl. No, no, no. Why would you tell us a lie that is not true? Dad. I'm very disappointed in you. But, Dad... Not now, Sarah. I need to be alone. <sighs> it's so stupid belly draggers' fault. If they hadn't come... <sighs> now everyone's gonna be mad at me forever. Even Dad. And if they hadn't run away, I would have scared them. With a big roar, like this. from my daughter. That sounded like a three horn. Come on, everyone. Let's get rid of them for good. I'm sorry, Daddy. No, I'm sorry. I pushed you into making up that story. But I'm the one who lied. I know I shouldn't have. It just felt so good to be a hero. Oh, Sarah, you'll always be my amazing three-horned girl. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Besides, no one messes with a three-horn. <laughs> 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 